Ladies and gentlemen, I have been sitting up here saying, I'm not going to do 17 different videos. I mean, there's just so much to talk about. First thing I want to highlight is this thing right here. 60 Minutes put out a video claiming that it was new evidence, new video footage of 9-11. That was to, you talk about clickbait. There's nothing in this video that talks about 9-11. There are no planes. The fact that he's showing images of buildings has nothing to do with no so-called terrorist attack. And if you believe this distraction, then I'm sorry. We've already had it uncovered that those individuals who they claimed were hijackers, <laughs> sorry, many of them were still alive after 9-11 since they claim they all died on the plane go ahead and look at the reports they actually do interviews but they said they were on the plane well we we uh what we knew then we uh you know uh didn't know then but we know now and now what we know we didn't really know and so because we didn't really know what we didn't know we now know what we didn't know and so you know that's the story we got after that and now they put this junk out we look, ladies and gentlemen, we already know they put the Saudi the those very rich people on a plane. That was the only plane, commercial plane, allowed to fly that day. Okay? So we already know the Saudis were blah 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 blah. So do not go for this stupid distraction. Ladies and gentlemen, that's twenty three years later they come out with this bull crap. And this is British intelligence to re put this junk out. And they do it now? During an election? It's a distraction, people. Okay. Whew. So glad we got that one out of the way. Man, that, that, that would have disturbed me for some time to go. Sorry. Uh, we gonna download this one. We ain't downloading him. You know, we done forgot about him. No, nobody talk about Elvis no more. They used to talk about Elvis all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, you could not go nowhere in the 80s without somebody talking about Elvis. He done returned, he coming back, and all of that stuff. They Man, ever since that Jesus character, y'all heard me, everybody talking about somebody coming back that they ain't dead. I know you're going to correlate it momentarily. Okay. Whew, so glad we got that taken care of. Now, Look, hold on now. Let, 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 let me tell you uh, some good news. The last two days have been 119 degrees. 119 degrees. Talk about Las Vegas and Palm Springs, please. Um, they got to 124, I told you. Uh, last year, not, yeah, last year. No, it was the year before last, sorry. Not last year, the year before last, okay. The year before last, we got to 139 degrees because when you guys are hearing them talk about temperatures, they're not talking about surface temperature. They're not talking about direct sunlight. They're talking about in the shade. So when they're pay attention, when you hear them talking about global warming, that's just them talking about shade temperature and surface temperature. Oh, we've reached a record high. They're mixing the two on purpose so that they can promote their so-called global warming. Sorry, uh, let me, I'm going to let that go <laughs> so that you guys can hear this. I'm looking at the dog in the, in the camera, and this leads to what I was talking about. And I had some ice, and I took that ice, and I put it in their... Uh, in their five gallon water container because they have at least five gallons of water fresh water and i put the ice in a five gallon container and now the dog is trying to get the ice so i i thought he was going to do the bobbing for apples thing but i i didn't know it was going to be this interesting watching him try to get the ice and the ice keeps going down into the water so yes that that's my entertainment for today what i did is i had a heavy blanket I got a heavy blanket, and when I got the heavy blanket, I got it for the dogs. Wanted them to have something to lie on. 
someone mentioned to me yesterday, you know, dogs regulate their heat through their paws, through the base of their paw. I said, you know, I heard because people would always talk about walking them on hot cement. So I had heard something similar to that. So when he mentioned it to me, I said, you know, I was planning on going out there. I said, I have a heavy blanket that I was going to put out there for the dogs for them to lie on because I go down there and I wet the ground that they're lying on. And I wet the area around them so that when they lie back down, it's cooler for them. So I said, wait a minute. I can take that heavy blanket, especially on the hot days, and I can wet the heavy blanket and it will stay moist for them and it will stay cool the entire time. Even though the air is 115, 119 degrees, they will be comfortable. And then I can go back out there and wet it again and they will stay comfortable even though the, you know, they're sitting out there baking in the sun. Well, no, they're not baking in the sun. They have plenty of shade. I promise you they have plenty of shade for this time and the winter time. So they're not gonna be getting wet on normal days and their food ain't gonna be getting wet on normal days. But I just put that stuff on out, out there for them so they could be comfortable, Bobo. Bo. I, I'm i saying this part so that people could know because some people have been asking about the stupid mutts. Yeah, they're stupid, they're still dogs, okay? But we, I told you all that Griff, Griff is the uh, terrier and he is very timid because before I got him, I got him from the, I got both dogs from the pound. Um, Eve, the female, she was younger. I got her, I think she was nine weeks when I got her. So Eve was the puppy puppy, but Griff, he was 11 months. And when I got Griff, he was very, very afraid. Wouldn't come to me at all. Now he doesn't, he still, he still hesitates, but he comes whenever I call him. It's just, he's still hesitant and he still got that, I don't trust you mother, uh, demeanor about him. So it's been some good months, but I knew that he was going to take time and I'm going to continue to work with him, not force it on him. I could sit up there and go out there and hold him and hold him for hours and that will take care of the whole problem. But I don't want to do it overnight. I want him to grow to trust me. Does that make sense, homie? All right. Now, I, I put this image of this car in front of me and I want to let you guys know that I am thoroughly impressed with the, the design of this car. I would never have anything like this because I wouldn't be comfortable in it. I, I would have such a hard time getting in and out of that thing. It's too low. Um, but anyway, I do like whoever came up with the artist rendition. Pretty good idea. All right, let's segue to what the video is supposed to be about. I put up a less than one minute video earlier today telling you guys about watching the TV series. It's uh, three seasons. It's called Dark Matter. This is not the current Dark Matter that you guys are watching on, I believe it might be Netflix or whatever whatever system it's on right now. Stars, Netflix, don't care because I don't watch that junk. I watch my TV series bootleg on stream dot, I don't know what on stream, O-N-S-T-R-E-A-M, on stream. Just look it up. Get the app. Promise you, you won't regret it. That's not what I watch it on. That's what I watch it on now. What I watched it on before was watch32.id. Watch32.id, that works for me. Anyway, anywho, season two. I got up this morning at four. I took some sleeping pills last evening, went to sleep at, literally went to sleep at 10. So 10 to four, that's a big 10 for it, everybody. 10 to four is not a lot, a lot of time. But I just needed to get, REM sleep and I got there however let me make sure you understand when I got up at 4 about 427 I decided to turn on dark matter because season 2 and so I am going through the season some of it was uh, I've seen it before and when I got to episode number 12 Yoshiro Yoshiro he is the emperor who is estranged from his country 
and he is taken back to his country and they have him on trial before the royal court before the queen and the queen mother and they have a prosecutor saying you've been accused of blah 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 how do you plea and he says i do not plea but i do proclaim my innocence ladies and gentlemen couldn't have been a better phrase said because see i knew i told you what i did in <laughs> puerto rico i said no i i i didn't say it correctly and i i i realized that then and even now I plead innocent. You don't want to ever plead. That's why he said, I do not plead, but I do proclaim. Proclamation! Okay? I do proclaim my innocence. Remember, they say you have to enter a plea. No, you don't. There is no law saying you have to enter a plea. Well, I'm going to enter a plea on your behalf. I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty. No, I'm sorry. I'm not entering a plea at all. I do not plead, but I do proclaim my innocence. Couldn't have been a better statement made in a movie. And when they said, well, you've been charged with this and you've been charged with that, he says, I deny each and every of those, one of those charges. Simply denied the charges. Uh, excuse me. This is uh, AT&T Telegram Mobile. Uh, you have a collect call coming from your mama. Uh, will you accept the charges? No, I do not accept the charges. That's what he did. He says, I, I don't accept the charges. I deny those charges. I do not accept those charges. Just deny them. I deny those charges. I do not accept those charges. And ta-da. Now, what happens? Well, now the game changes. You just made it to level two. Why? Because they can't stay at level one. Level one is where they start having things click into place and uh cogs and gears all mesh together and be like oh well, yeah we, we got this one okay next who's next to be put through this okay come on now you plead to okay all right who's next oh no no y'all all getting done today oh we 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 on a roll today we got all these people pleading uh oh sorry uh my dogs have food the heavy blanket is heavy so the puppy is stupid. The, the puppy is stupid. Eve is stupid. And so he pulled on the heavy blanket, and their food was on top of the heavy blanket. And now the food is off the heavy blanket. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody's trying to call. One second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was a SAA person. Well, anyway, let's get back. Back to the tippity tippity tickety top and finish talking about the episode number 12 season 2 of dark matter the sci-fi series three seasons in this series not the dark matter that just came out that only have nine episodes no 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 not that one this one i said episode 12 so that lets you know that this is not the same one well anyway you see when in Puerto Rico, when I tell you guys I've tested just about everything out, played with the system. Uh, how do you plead? Oh, I plead guilty to the facts. Oh, well, if you're going to plead guilty, we can just dispense with everything and I can pronounce sentence now. Oh, I know. I said guilty to the facts. Oh, well, um, no, you can't plead guilty to the facts. Why can't I plead guilty to the facts? Look, I'm going to enter a plea of not guilty on your behalf. But I just pled guilty to the facts. How can you enter a plea of not guilty and I just pled guilty to the facts? Sorry, I didn't actually do that. But that's what I was saying when I was speaking to him. Ladies and gentlemen, at the very beginning of the case, when they do the plea thing, and you plead guilty to the facts, you don't want to plead guilty. You don't want to plead innocent. You don't want to plead no contest. You don't want to plead nothing. I'll explain that in a minute. But when I what I was doing, like I said, testing the system, when I when I told him I was pleading guilty to the facts, I didn't know what was going to happen next. I had never done it before. I told him, I told them, and I'm telling you all, I was testing the system for you so that y'all didn't have to, like Tidy Bowl, Mr. Clean. Anyway, 
ladies and gentlemen, he didn't say anything. Well, if you're going to plead guilty, he knew what I was saying. His name is Marcos Lopez. That's the idiot I keep telling you guys about. I plead guilty to the facts. At the beginning of your case, there are no facts on the record. It's all presumption. It's all assumption. Look, they came up with this stupid thing called beyond a reasonable doubt. There is no such thing in the Constitution about a reasonable, stupid doubt. Nothing. That's a presumption, people. And you got to challenge that, that that junk is unconstitutional. That has nothing to do with due process. There is nothing in the law about a reasonable doubt. Nothing in the law that talks about a reasonable doubt. It says facts, proof, conclusions. Doesn't say, well, you know, he's more likely guilty than he is innocent. There ain't nothing in the law about that. They wrote that into the law. So when I heard in the show they said you've been accused of this that and the other how do you plea and he said i plea well excuse me i do not plea but i do proclaim my innocence remember i told the judge i plead guilty to the facts it's the statement short statement that comes after that i do not plea many of you guys says i do not plea i don't have to enter a plea pay attention that's too long of a statement. I do not plea, but I do proclaim my innocence, is all you have to say. From that point on, the judge cannot. Oh, let me see if we can. Let's see if we can do this. Hold on. We're getting ready to add another video, okay, to YouTube. But hold on a second. Let me do this. To proclaim, proclaim, announce officially or publicly, declare something one considers important with due emphasis, declare officially or publicly to be. You see, now he proclaimed King James II as King of England. It's a proclamation, ladies and gentlemen. I do proclaim my innocence. They cannot say, well, then I'm going to enter a plea on your behalf because they cannot, they don't have a right to overcome the proclamation. My bad. Okay. To announce, declare, to publish, advertise, promulgate, post, disclose, publicize, autonomous, the autonomy of proclamations, conceal, withhold. Uh, proclaim does not mean conceal. Lord have mercy. Proclaim does not mean to withhold. God, my, my bad. I'm sorry. Maybe I don't understand. Proclaim, that's an adjective. Publicly, make known publicly. Announce, declare, promulgate, publish, blah, 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 blah. Now, Blair, run with. Harold, beat a drum. <laughs> okay, these are all of the synonyms. Okay. <sighs> How does the verb proclaim differ from other similar words? Some common synonyms of proclaim or announce, declare, and promulgate. While all of these words mean to make known publicly, that's why he proclaimed his innocence. Proclaim implies declaring clarity or clearly, clarity, forcefully or authoritatively. One could announce be used to replace proclaim the words announce and proclaim are synonymous but do differ in nuances specifically announce implies a declaration of something for the first time he announced an engagement at the party one might declare be better fit than proclaim 
I do declare my innocence? No, I do proclaim my innocence. Well, the words declare and proclaim are much in common. Declare implies explicitness and usually formality in making known. I guess you can use either proclare, proclare, see, proclare, or, well, <laughs> proclaim or declare. Sorry, let me stop doing that because I can see some people going out there and saying, I do proclare. And if you use it, understand, I just created it. So it's mine. It's mine. I proclare. I do swear. I proclare. Anyway, in what context can promulgate take the place of proclaim? Hey, the words promulgate, what the attorney general does, and proclaim are used in similar context. But to promulgate implies proclaiming of a dogma, a doctrine, or a law. Okay, there you go. Now, while listening to that show, they told him, you have been accused of this, you've been accused of that, you've been accused of that. And he says, I deny each of those allegations. That's it. Now, in order to overcome your affidavit, because that's what a proclamation is, in order to overcome that affidavit, they have to bring a preponderance of evidence to the contrary. Ta-da! All right, ladies and gentlemen, 21 minutes. I'm about to go finish watching that episode. I literally, the moment it came on, I said, let me go do a video. I wasn't going to write it down for myself, but I said, no, I ain't doing all that. So there you go. Then I'll go out there and straighten out that stuff for that dog shortly. Take care. We'll talk to y'all. Arriva Madurchi.